Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a few things and have a little bit of fun while we're at it. Now Blender 4.4 .4 is almost ready, so it's still a little few things to do on it. But um, let's have a look and um, put it to an extreme test. You may want to stay and just um, have a look and see what I'm up to. Now this example is a purely hypothetical situation. I'm going to do a really challenging task to see whether B4D can handle such extreme events. So here is a component, this is like a multi-unit um, abutment, and we're going to copy this another two times. So copy and um, copy one more time. Great. Now what I want to do is move this sort of like that and this one like this, maybe this one down a little bit, rotate it a little bit, and, and this this wouldn't be a clinical situation, it's just um, just for fun as I've said. Okay, go to the wax up module and I'm going to import a tooth. Okay. Good, I'm going to select a molar over here delete unwanted and place it to the position and I'm going to move that to where my um, abutments are and while I'm at it I'm going to remesh this um, tooth geometry and place it into a position. So let, let us see how Blender for Dental can um, do something this complicated. Now we've got three implants which are very very close together and um, I'm going to have some fun here and I hope you guys are watching and you're going to enjoy this as well. I'm really excited about Blender 4.4. It is unbelievable. It's working much faster. So here, the crown module, go to the implants. I'm going to hide this away and then we're going to make these assemblies and accept looks a bit like a bottle with a um, screw hole cutter over the top of it, like that. Notice how fast Blender 4.4 is in the last one. We needed to wait a few seconds. Okay, so here I'm going to um, have a look and see if we can make three little roots. So here what we're going to do is we're going to edit this mesh and I'm going to just bring that out a little bit because we want it to make a nice um, structure like that. Okay, cool. Now here comes the big test. Okay, I'm going to place it so we can all view this and hopefully it'll work. Otherwise, um, I won't post this video. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Generate implant fixture. Let's go. Perfect. How amazing is that? And um, we're going to just smooth this down a bit. Notice in Blender 4.4, you've got all of the smoothing tools down here, which is a big improvement to the way we can work instead of having them on the side over here. So here we've got a nice structure like that. How amazing is this? Okay, exit. Now, let's put it to the next test. Actually, I'm just going to hide the components and show you what it then actually looks like underneath. So in edit mode, and this is the quality of the Blender for Dental Mesh structure. It, um, it definitely <laughs> gives a lot of, um, uh, it's not even competition to the other dental softwares. So we've got an absolute perfect mess stru structure, which um, you can't really criticize this at all. Okay, now for the next test, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. We're going to make three screw holes. This is easily done. I'm going to go into transparent mode, set it up, and of course here, over here on the right hand side, we can set the diameter of these over here. 
I can even add um, a little um, angle if I want to. So let's try that. Okay, so 30 degree, great. And we're going to place this over here and swing this over on the Z axis like that. Funky. Okay. So, let's see. Also, when if you hide one of these, it will exclude it from the script, which then um, will then be a blocked hole. But anyway. Okay. Let's see if this works. Wow. How amazing is that? Okay, I want to see the mesh structure underneath it. And um, look how beautiful the Blender for Dental mesh structure is. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. So, hope you guys like this video. I'll post a few more videos as we go. And it shows you and demonstrates the power of uh, B4D in dentistry. Okay, cheers.